Hello, I am Wanderer001, and this is my review of the Coleman Camping Oversize Quad Chair with Cooler. This is a folding collapsible chair from Coleman, so it's going to be good for tailgating, camping, outdoor picnics, things of that nature. And uh, while I am filming the chair inside, because uh, the day I went to film it, it would have been a better day to be doing an umbrella review, uh, so it's not outside, it's inside. But generally, this is an outdoor chair. What you're going to get with the Coleman chair here is uh, a chair that has extra wide seating. So let's talk about some of the general specifications. It has a height from the base to the tip top of the back of the chair there of 38 inches with a width from armrest to armrest of 36 inches with a depth from back to the portion of the chair that meets the backrest of 20 inches with a seating diameter of 25.5 inches. Now that's not including these little plastic rivets that I'll talk about a little later. So coming a little closer, you do have adjustable armrests and that is done by coming around the back here and just pushing up or down on this little plastic disc uh, that's attached to the steel hollow frame there. Uh, you do get one cup holder in the right armrest, which is mesh and is large enough to accommodate a can or slightly bigger than a can of a carbonated beverage. Coming across to the other arm, you'll notice the zipper pouch. This is actually a cooler. Now, Coleman says that the cooler, which you can see kind of dangling there and there, can accommodate four canned beverages. Now, if we open this up, you will notice that the way that you accommodate four cans are by having three lined up at the bottom and then one on the top there. So I'm not entirely sure I would count that as three cans, but we're just going to move this over to the armrest so you can see how well that fits in there. Now, speaking of the cooler, it is an insulated pouch, and I'm just going to tuck that under the zipper there. If we pull, well, if we pull out our canned beverages, you will notice one of the things that I'm not particularly a fan of with the cooler Really, what it is, it's, it's an insulated pouch. If you look all the way down there to the bottom, and if I flip it around here, you'll notice that there are no drain holes on the cooler. So what that means is, really, you're going to have to have uh, cooled beverages that you place in here, and they'll stay reasonably cool, but any drippage that you're going to get is going to stay in here. So you're going to have to wipe that out if you don't want to get mildew in there. Now, one of the other aspects of the quad chair here is along the side, and we're just gonna turn the chair around, and that is this side pouch. Now, the pouch does have a large uh, pocket up top and then two segmented pouches in the front. Uh, the pouch dimensions are 13 inches wide with a height of 9.5. So as you can see, I stuffed a magazine in there just to give you an idea of the size that you could have. And you can pretty much shove anything that will fit in here. It does not necessarily have to be a magazine as they uh, stated, because they do call it a magazine pouch. Now the fabric itself is supposed to be padded. And I'll tell you right now, it's pretty much the, the thinnest of padding that you can have. So you've got a top layer and then a bottom layer and then stitched in between that is a, a very, very thin layer of padding to take off a little bit of the discomfort of this style chair. Uh, speaking of discomfort, you have these rivets that are plastic, which are obviously meant to help keep it attached to the chair and, and frame. But uh, if you're a larger person, these may be a little annoying because your leg might rub up against them. Now, the chair itself is supposed to support up to 300 pounds. Now, I myself only weigh 155. I find the chair comfortable enough. I'll roll in some footage of me sitting in it. I have had somebody who's about 250 
sit in the chair with no problems and just because here is a 17 pound cat that decided they wanted to be part of the video. Now the back itself is made of that uh, dual layer construction. So again, the front and back and then a thin layer of material uh, to add for padding. The chair itself is reasonably comfortable for what it is and for what you pay for it. Now it does come with a carrying pouch that I have draped here so that you can see it. Uh, so when it's collapsed, you can stick it in the pouch and it has a handle there that you can sling over your shoulder. The pouch itself is uh, not terribly good in my opinion. It's very thin canvas material. Shoving the chair itself into the pouch is a bit difficult to do and I'm sure that the chair will probably outlive the pouch here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to collapse it down, show you a little bit of the frame at the bottom there as well as the feet I want to talk about and uh, show you what it looks like in the pouch itself here. Now while I'm collapsing the chair there are two things that I want to uh, preface to make your life a little easier when collapsing the chair. Coming over to the pouch that you tuck that in between the frame here instead of leaving that out that'll make it a little easier to collapse as well as your cooler make sure you crunch it down and then pull it inside the seating area here if you leave it on the outside of the arm you're going to run into a problem with uh, it collapsing correctly all right last bit of the chair before i shove it in the bag so that's how small it collapses down to before you put it in the bag once fully collapsed and stuffed in the bag you're looking at a height from bottom to top of 37.5 inches with a width going across this way or at the top here of 5.5 inches. Now you do notice like I said there is a nice uh, carrying strap there sling it over one shoulder I have one uh, and my wife has one so you can carry one on each shoulder it's not terribly heavy but I wanted to talk about the feet here at the bottom, you can see that they are somewhat textured to give you a little bit of grip if you're going to be using this on grass or, or what have you. Uh, if you notice right there and there, those might look like uh, hollow areas that you could from the top attach stakes to the chair to keep it from going anywhere. Uh, they are not. Those are just part of the hollow tube construction of the actual frame itself. Now the frame is, uh, as I stated before, hollow steel tubes that are coated in this black paint. So eventually it will wear off as you scratch it more and more. Uh, but the paint, at least for the time being that I've had it, has acted as a nice rust inhibitor and haven't had any issues with that. The Coleman Camping Oversized Quad Chair with Cooler does come in several different colors. I got the black uh, variant. It does also come in red, blue, and gray, which is more of a two-tone. If you're looking for a cheap, lightweight, Coleman-branded uh, camping chair, you can pick this one up uh, for between $30 or $20, depending on sales and where you get it. Uh, like I said, the bag itself probably is not going to last as long as the chair, because you can really see how stuffed the chair is when you actually get to where the arm rests and everything are, which is right here. So you can see it's kind of pushing out at the seams. But other than that, for a $20 chair, if you can get it on sale, it's really good and I would recommend picking it up. I have been Wander 001 If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.